This hit goes out to you, Mr. Wick. Woke up this morning. 42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. And so it begins. So we've got a fan question for you. If John Wick wasn't John Goddamn Wick, how many times should he have broken his back by now? <laughs> it's counting again. Are you talking in one film or all four? This well, this film, film at least twice. Yeah, I'd say. The club. Yeah. A few times. And maybe out of the window. Out of the window. Of the, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, solid twice. The secret is he's got an adamantium spine. It's part he knows, of the He's got he will. Knows, yeah, he knows how to roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> he's got will. He's got will. So, you want to kill him? You want to kill him? I want to kill him. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Vick? I'm going to kill you. This is a cruel question, but do you have a favorite fight move from all four films? Because four movies in now, there have got to be a few that you love. We've talked about the hug attack before. Right. Where you go all limbs, grab, roll, two in the head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always a good one. I didn't do that in this one. No, no. Uh, well, you kind of do. Kind of do. You know, in the, on the Osaka rooftop, you do the jumping. Mm hmm. Not really. He forgets. Yeah. But there's there's a, a lot of them. There's one in the first movie where a stuntman seemingly breaks their neck on the edge of a kitchen countertop. Mm -hmm. And I've asked you oh, about yeah. it, and you said, oh no, that stuntman has a very rubbery neck. He, he does. Did. He did. It was, was pretty cool. Was that we saw Justin? Him do, yeah, Justin? we saw him do yeah. it in the rehearsal, and we're like, oh yeah, we're using that. Yeah. <laughs> very flexible. I don't know. I don't have a favorite. All right, let's rephrase. Is there a kill that you love seeing? Because there are moments in this movie where you go, all movies where you go, that looks incredibly cool. Oh, well, that's kind. He's got a way. There's like, they're almost like kind of touches, right? They're like, pop, pop, he pop. saves it for the, no, but like the, the last thing, the last yeah. thing. The accent thing, beat. The yeah. accent beat, you know? So whether that's this or that or yeah. this or maybe that yeah. or this. Oh, well, the one against, the, the, one against the taiko drum is pretty good. <gasps> yeah. Like that one. Get it bloody. I, I might want to go with the rooftop. I like when you're shooting the guy gets the arrow through his leg. <laughs> oh, right. And just double taps on the way down. There's a dra is it Dragon's Breath? The sort of the Dragon's Breath ammunition. That's also really yeah. fun. The first yeah. first time he does that. Yeah. <laughs> you armed? How did this role come to you? How did it first arrive in your life in an email, a phone call? What was it? It was an email to my manager saying that Chad wanted to have a word with me. Quick chat. <laughs> Quick chat. I was like, why the fuck does the director of John Wick want to speak to me? <laughs> this is very flattering, but what is going on? Oh, yeah, I was mid-writing my second album. I was, you know, I was like, that, that was not what I was expecting. But to give it background, like, I've been auditioning for movies and TV and stuff in the background um, for a long time. For a long time, like a couple years, basically, doing self-tapes, mm -hmm. which I fucking hate. They're the worst. They're the worst. They're the worst. But he called me, he was just like, look, we're trying to cast this role. I haven't found the, the person yet. Um, and he basically found me on Google. <laughs> <laughs> and, but the funny thing is, in my music videos, I've always tried and treat them like an acting portfolio. Sure. You know what? Can't you writing like a fan fiction piece? But... Okay from the perspective of like a little Japanese woman. I would co-direct my music videos and I'd like cast myself as a, like a sort of character. Yeah. I'd do stunt training in one of them. So I always had the vision of, yeah. you know, like trying to use it as a portfolio. So it worked, he said, me and Keanu have been watching your music videos and I see that you do some choreography in excess. I saw you done some stunt training in Bad Friend. Amazing. I was like, it worked! Well played. <laughs> Thank you. I would so trip thinking that Keanu was just watching my music videos. I'd be like, that's I, normal, that's normal, that's normal. I know, I know. Who of your friends and family freaked out the most in a good way discovering that you've got this gig? All of my friends think it's the funniest thing. 
But I think it's the funniest thing. It's not fair. They should be supporting you. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's like, how can you... Like, I can't even process it. How, how are they meant to process it? They're coming to the premiere tonight. They're like, why are we coming to the premiere of John Wick? <laughs> what are you doing in the movie? This is a prank. I know it's a prank. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a really good one. So were you tempted on set to be like, look, Keanu... We're obviously fast friends already, but could I get a selfie now? Because my friends still don't believe this is happening. <laughs> could we quickly... Did that ever happen? I think when I f started referring to Keanu in the, like, the, you know, like, first name terms, yep. they were like, stop. Why are you talking like this? <laughs> not real. I'm not buying it. But once they, they themselves are in the same room as him tonight... Yeah. She's on the other foot. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't wait for that, actually. Oh, They're going to be like... going to be so good. <laughs> They make it look easy, but it's not. Is there a stunt that seemed on paper relatively simple, and then when you try to actually make it happen, it turned into a bit of a, oh God, this is take 20? Well, they, they all seem easy on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Top shot, <laughs> runs through traffic, <laughs> runs upstairs, falls downstairs. Yeah, they're never that easy. There was one in particular in the third one where you're wired up Keanu onto a horse. Yeah. And I thought, that looked... That one read easy, too. And yeah. he rides the horse. <laughs> there was not Gnarly easy. moments in that. Yeah, that's probably one of the, the trickier things we've done. Is there a stunt man or person or human you'd like to shout out in particular? Four movies in, who do oh you want to really? Oh, wow. All of them. I mean, Jackson Spidell. Jackson was, Spidell, was one, John two, three. Devil, and now Vincent, Vincent, who is our guy in this. Rion. Rion. And then um, our choreographer, Scott Rogers. Scott Rogers. J.J. Perry, uh, John Eusebio, John Valera, and Jeremy Marinas. Koji. Koji. Koji yeah. We need um, to hear their names. This is so important to me because so often people go, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, it's a movie, no, it's great. And you go, no, there's like a cast of two dozen. No, we have a great, yeah. we have a great stunt team. But they're... I'd also a, it's like to shout team. out Eric Brown. Eric Brown, Dave Camarillo. Dave Camarillo. And the, the list goes Danny Hernandez. There's Hernandez. so many great, great people. Darren Prescott. Darren Prescott. Legends. Legend. Legends. Legends. Fight Keanu Reeves. It's hard work, man. This movie takes a lot of attempts to get things in the can. From what I gather, it's not a, well, we did that in one take, easy peasy. How many takes was the most takes, if that's a sentence or a question? Oof. I mean, that's Chad's way, right? He wants to get the perfect take, and he doesn't like choppy cuts. He nope. doesn't like to cut in action scenes, which I think is the most impressive because you, then you know that it's like a real action scene. And when we learn the, the choreography, it's done in all in one, and we learn that choreography exactly how it's going to be. Yeah. And like the A711 team, they shoot it, they do the previs before, so it's exactly pretty much how it's going to be on the last on the shoot day. Oh, you know, he didn't put me through too much. Maybe 10. Ten's not bad. Maybe 10, which is kind because, as you'd imagine, John Wick is, a lot of it's nighttime. Yeah. And it's shot in nighttime. And it's freezing. It's it's cold, yeah. yeah. Even though we did shoot it in summer in Berlin, it was like, at nighttime, it did get cold. But you know what? Training for that movie and doing, doing John Wick, like, has been the most I've ever pushed myself. Totally, I can imagine. So I feel like I've lo I'm unlocked like a certain mode. One last quick, quick thing is, what's the coolest moment that you're looking forward to your friends seeing you do on screen tonight? Oh, you saw it in the trailer, but there's a scene where I am crawling on top of someone's back and it's called like the ice pick scene where I'm like, <laughs> that. I mean, there's other really cool stunts that I can't wait for them to see. Ice pick, great answer. Yep. Who is this? The Marquis de Gramo. Challenge him to single combat. Win or lose, it's a way out. When you get fans in the street spotting you, is it primarily wanting to talk about Winston? No. What are you, what are you getting, getting elsewhere engine a lot still? No. It's an interesting, I mean, that's one of the funny things. I'm sure if you ask Kyle the same question, it's, you know, for me sometimes they go, hot rod. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a funky film I did with, you know, a comedy, but it's a very funny movie with Andy Samberg. Oh, come on. You are a 
It's you gorgeous. Like it? That freeze frame at the end when you've just been punched. Oh no, it's a good. Yeah, but it's a good movie. It's a oh. really tired movie. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Then they bring up, you know, sometimes Lovejoy, or sometimes they bring up Al Swearingen, or they bring up Jesus of Nazareth, or whatever, and you go, wow, you know, so yeah. But then, then of course, they go, John Wick, and uh, John Wick, when's the, when's the next one? Yeah. No, that's the always you get. When's the next one? Whatever. Which leads me to my question, which is, any news on the Continental TV show? Is there anything on that you can tell us? Uh, they never asked us anything about it, so I'm never going to ask them anything about it. <laughs> If you don't know, you can't say no. anything. No. There you go. Does he have a name, sir? No. Oh, good dog. Stay. This is really tough, though. Pick your favourite dog from all four films. Ooh. Working with colleague or just the way they behaved or how they look? Dog number one. The OG. Andy the OG. or da Daisy on the, uh, in the movie. We'll grab you some kibble later. Yeah, go, the, with. Yeah. go with. Go with. Go with. You behind the scenes, the command is go with, go with, go with to get the puppy to go. But yeah. Andy was pro uh, the dog's real name was Andy, but in the movie it was Daisy. I think that's always our. I mean, yeah. the beagle puppy. Come on. A puppy. I mean, you can't argue with that. But our Belgian Malawans have been amazing in the last few films. I don't get to do, interact with those. Yeah, that's. But those are probably okay. your favorites. They're pretty incredible. I mean, the only reason they're really? in the movie is because they're they're my your favorites. favorites. Yeah. So they're very trainable. Guy, yeah. Very trainable. It's not the training; it's the execution. Yeah. And the love. Yeah. And the love. He shot my dog. I get it. I'm Legends. gonna wrap things up with something slightly unprofessional. Please forgive me. Please. Um, I brought a bag in with me, and I never, 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 never know. Oh my it. gosh! What's but he going to do? When and I last spoke, what's he have? John Wick. I told you about this, which is hanging up beside my bathroom. <laughs> and I saw it on the way yeah, in this so, morning. I've seen that fan art before. It's cool. And I just absolutely love it. And my unprofessional moment is: Would you sign the back? Yeah, for sure, man. I've, I've, I think I've done this maybe never. <laughs> so if you, you wouldn't mind, you, you have the wicked penmanship. Okay. I have the John Wick penmanship. You want the lefty to go first. <laughs> We're both lefties, but somehow he Take he's got more. yeah no he's got he's figured out how to do the lefty thing the claw my um <laughs> my wife just said to me as I walked out the door why don't you take that and I was like I could I could also get fired <laughs> but let's let's try guys Cheers, thank you man. truly thank you pleasure thanks yeah. thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.